welcome to my videos and if y'all see my videos shake a little bit at first it's because my camera's on a tripod and sometimes like as I push the button it shakes and but it's quit now I just want to tell y'all that just in case y'all are wondering I didn't want to make y'all motion sickness okay on today's stories uh, we're gonna do the story of the bell witch this story takes place in Adams Tennessee and after we talk about a little bit of the legend, I'm going to tell you about the time that I went to Adams, Tennessee to see if I could see where the Bell Witch uh, home was and caves and all that. Okay, let's get started. Uh, John Bell, he lived in North Carolina. And they, his uh, family decided they was going to move to Tennessee. So they took the long journey in horse and buggy and they arrived in Adams, Tennessee. They had bought a bunch of land, and on the land there was a home. And they began to farm that land. John Bell had some uh, two sons and a couple daughters. Well, the a couple of the sons decided that they were going to, you know, go and check out the property, and they found some caves on the property. And in those caves, they found a human skull. So the boys brought the skull back to the house, and as I was running into the home, one of the teeth from the skull had fell out and went uh, under the porch. And they were showing their dad the skull, and uh, their dad wanted them to go take the skull and put it back. But after that, weird occurrences, weird things started happening in the Bell home. Uh, they would see... Animals around the home. One day, uh, Bell was out. John Bell was out hunting, and he ran across this animal. And it had a dog's body and a, a rabbit's head. So he shot at the animal to kill the animal, so he'd get a closer look to see what kind of animal it was. And when he got up on the animal, the animal was not there. And it was, it was not just John that was seeing these different types of animals on the property. John owned a couple of slaves. And the slaves were telling stories about seeing animals on the property, weird-shaped animals, and birds that could talk. And John's wife had also seen a girl in blue. She had went for a walk one day, and she saw a girl in blue hanging from the trees by her arms for only a split second. And then when she looked back, she was gone. Well, uh, the hauntings were happening outside the house at first. They would hear scratching on the walls, uh, rocks being thrown at the house. And so they decided they was just going to ignore it. They would go out and check and see if anybody was there and nobody was ever seen outside. But then it started happening inside the home. They would hear scratching on the walls. The children would say they was hearing rats chewing at the bedpost. Uh, John Bell's daughter had woke up one time with her hair tied to the headboard. And when she tried to untie her hair, her face got smacked. So there was all kinds of things that happened in the home. Well, it, people started getting sick. Uh, John Bell ended up getting sick. He was having problems with his uh, one side of his face. Uh, he was just getting real ill as the time went on that they stayed in his house. Well, John Bell died on December the 20th, 1820. When his son walked into the room, he found a little bottle that looked like it had some, it had a little bit of liquid in it and it had a strange smell. Well, when the son went to smell his father to see if any of this liquid had fell on him, he said he had that strange smell coming from his mouth. And then, just then, he heard a voice coming from out of nowhere. And it said, I gave old John a big dose of that last night and that fixed him. So they said that this was the um, voice of the, the witch saying this, you know. And so that is the story. That is some of the story. Uh, there's also a story of people going to the caves. And they would take uh, souvenirs like little rocks and pebbles. 
And then weeks later, they would get sent back into the mail, and it would say, please put this rock back into the cave. Terrible things have happened to us. It isn't just one person that's happened to. A lot of people send their rocks back. It says not to take anything and not to bring anything when you go into the caves. Uh, they believe the caves are haunted by the, the Indian spirits. Uh, there was a body that was in the cave at one time that was it. Um, an Indian body, and somebody actually stole the body. So they believe the Indians uh, haunt that land and haunted the uh, Bell family. But there's also all kinds of different beliefs. There's a belief that there was a guy that uh, John Bell had bought some property from and didn't give him enough for the property, and they thought his wife was a witch, and they thought that she haunted the Bell family. There, there, there was a lot of... Um, different stories that happened to them. But um, that's uh, kind of the rundown of uh, the, uh, the story of the Bale family. Well, my experience when I went to Adams, Tennessee was very, very weird. You go and it's on the outskirts of Nashville, Adams is. And when you're driving up into Adams, you go up like a mountain and it's really pretty, and there's all kinds of barns, and but you go up this hill, and I'm not sure if this is still there or not, because this has been many years ago. But when I was going up the hill, there was a bus that looked like he had a school bus. It looked like somebody had placed it in the woods at an angle, and wrote on the bus it said "Welcome." And I thought, well, well, that's weird. And then you go up into Adams, uh, Adams, Tennessee, and the town. It's all boarded up. It's old. It just looks like there was a curse on the town. There's not much there. But you can go to the old school and they got all kinds of stuff there about the history of the bells. And they have the um, actual bell home that's there. And they have an old uh, doctor's office that's there. Just a lot of historical things. Well, we decided we was going to go and see if we could go into the Bell Cave. So we stopped at the only gas station that I seen that was there. It was a little um, mom, Paul gas station. And we go in, and I'm standing in line, and there's a, a big mountain man standing in front of me. He's, having, he's got overhauls on. He's standing in front of me. Well, I was asking them how to get to the Bell Caves. And they said, uh, uh, why do you want to go to the Bell Caves? There's nothing down there. And I was like, oh, okay. So we got to leave. And I was like, I'm going to the Bell Caves. So we go driving down through there. And we get we get on the road that takes you to the caves. And just before we get to the caves, right down the road, there's a man. And he's parked sideways in the road. And he's blocking us. And I look at him. And it's the same guy that was from the gas station earlier. So he comes walking up to the car and he says, uh, y'all are not, y'all are not welcome here. You turn around and go back. The caves are flooded. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, and I forgot to tell you on the way down to the caves, there was a bunch of homeless people, but they were lived in like shacks and they were like, excuse me, there was like five or six of them. And the story was, if you go down into the caves, and just before you go down in the caves, if you honk your horn, you'll come back out and something has tore your vehicle up. But I was like, I don't know about that, because it's kind of like you're telling somebody you're away from your car, and they could tear your car up. But that it was just so weird there. It had like a gloom across the whole town. People weren't friendly. This has been many, many years ago. This has been like 10 years ago. But it was just, it was so weird. And then when you're coming back up the hill to go back out, there was a bus, you know, the same bus. But on the opposite side, it said, don't come back. I just got a bad feeling in that town, a really bad feeling. So uh, I'll never go back to Adams, Tennessee. But that's my story of the Bell Witch. And I hope y'all have a good day. And I hope y'all enjoy my story. And thanks for